Hello, good morning, good evening, everyone. Welcome to today's uh, session. We are going to discuss about Microsoft Copilot Studio Basics. Let's get started. Agenda. We'll discuss the differences between Copilot and uh, ChatGPT. What are the different types of Copilots? Difference between Microsoft Copilot and artificial intelligent agents that uh, you can create in the Microsoft ecosystem. Overview of the Copilot Studio, key features, architecture, key terms. And we'll follow up by a demo. We will quickly create an agent and test that agent. What is the difference between Copilot and ChatGPT? Let's start with the primary use case. Copilot is a productivity within the Microsoft 365. Especially, this is similar to ChatGPT, but more uh, integrated with the Microsoft 365 suite of applications. ChatGPT is a very generic uh, artificial intelligence uh, assistance. For the content generation and image generation integrations copilot seamlessly integrates with the microsoft apps word excel outlook teams and dynamics 365 chart gpt can be integrated with other applications but we need to write the custom apis or custom programs to integrate with this suite data access copilot can access to your microsoft 365 emails documents and all those things we need to do some security configuration uh, in the copilot and you need to have that license once you have the license you can quickly use the copilot chart gpt has a limited access to the company data required manual uploads and integrations so if you want to summarize any document you need to take the document and upload it to the chart gpt and summarize that is not recommended given uh, uh, organization data or company data contains some proprietary information what are the strengths it streamlines the workflows boost productivity in the microsoft environment that is a key if you are trying to use the copilot on uh, mac os or apple mac os uh, it may not be that much efficient compared to uh, you know uh, because this is tightly integrated with the microsoft uh, ecosystem this is versatile excels in creative tasks and open ended problems you can use it in the you know office suit uh, but you need to write the custom api same thing if you want to use that in the apple uh, mac or uh, linux you need to do the custom apis limitations prim primarily designed for microsoft users may require more manual input especially chart gpt what are the different types of copilots microsoft offers several types of copilots Microsoft 365, which is Office 365, that is uh, Copilot is inbuilt for uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and all those things. And Dynamic 365 Copilot. Dynamics 365 is the business suite of applications for Microsoft. Mm, there are broadly two categories ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, similar to SAP, and CRM, Customer Relationship Management, similar to the Salesforce. So Microsoft provides a co-pilot for the ERP and CRM modules. GitHub, as you know, it's a code repository. Microsoft is having a co-pilot. Developers can use this co-pilot to write the programs in Java, .NET, Python, and a lot of programming languages. Microsoft Fabric is a Microsoft data platform. It contains databases, uh, Power BI, analytical engine, data engineering engine. In this platform also, Microsoft provides the copilots. So they are inbuilt. You just uh, pay $20 uh, per month per user and you can get access. This is really useful, especially for the business analysts or data engineers. Microsoft Security. Microsoft Security platform contains a lot of products like Azure AD, uh, Microsoft um, Entro, that's what uh, it's being renamed Microsoft Defender. There are a lot of uh, tools and available in the security. Copilot is also available for Microsoft Security. These are the different types of Microsoft Copilots. And role specific Copilots also uh, can be used, like sales, service. It's more on the Dynamics 365 CRM uh, or ERP side. What is the difference between Copilot and Agent? Let's uh, look at it from different uh, aspects. Let's start with the definition. Copilot, as we know, this is a AI assistant embedded in the Microsoft apps, whereas Agent is similar. Uh, it's a more a custom, means uh, a developer or a user can uh, create this agent. It's not required for you to know the programming language if you are using the Copilot Studio because it's just drag and drop. You can create an agent, but agent is a 
a program, a custom built AI entity often created using the Copilot Studio for specialized tasks on data. And the aspects of scope and availability, Copilot is instantly available across supported Microsoft on D63, D Dynamics 365 or D365 services and agent is domain specific. So you can create a agent for uh, your HR department. You can create an agent for uh, your financial department and uh, the agents in the the agents are, as you know, they say custom programs, CI programs. They are more specific to the domain, HR or uh, finance domains or any other domains. And setup and maintenance, minimal setup for Copilot and the agent requires some planning because uh, it's not required for you to know the programming. Also, you can use the Copilot Studio to manage these agents. Typical use cases, drafting emails, you can use the Copilot to drop the emails, meeting notes and all those things. And for agent, you can create a lead generation or a HR helper agent you can create for your organization. And you can give the, your HR policy as an input. Uh, you know, your HR uh, agent for your company can answer you that question. And customizations, Copilot, you can do the customizations. It's a limited customizations. Agent is, you can full virtually, you know, customize this agent. Now we know that we can create the agents using the Copilot Studio. Now try to un let us understand what is Copilot Studio. A Copilot Studio is a Microsoft low code AI development platform designed to help the business to build and deploy AI powered Copilots or agents. Why Copilot Studio? It automates the and enhances the workflow. It streamlines the business processes with AI driven automation. So, previously, automation can be done using Power Automate, is one of the products in Microsoft Power Platform. But with this Copilot Studio, this is AI driven and it's a low code platform. Seamless integration with Microsoft. So when you create an agent, it can uh, connect with any of the Microsoft uh, existing Copilot or the platforms. There is a connector uh, architecture or uh, connector. Uh, you can write the connectors. There are a lot of pre-built connectors that Microsoft provides for your agents to connect to Microsoft or outside third-party systems such as Salesforce, SAP, and other things. And it's a conversation with uh, the agent that you are creating using the Copilot can uh, be like a you know uh, prompt, right? How you interact with ChatGPT or uh, uh, Copilot, you can interact with your own agent. Uh, you know, in subsequent uh, slides, it will be more clear. This is just uh, the starting uh, basics document. I will show you a demo also so that you will understand that. What are the key features of the Copilot Studio? It's a low code, so no need for you to know the programming language you can drag and drop and create this agent and once you create the agent you can deploy that agent to microsoft teams websites or custom applications this is very secure because microsoft put the security guardrails around these agents and the copilot studio you can control or uh, you know uh, configure the security levels and you can also extend the copilot and what is the architecture at the high level, this this is based on the RBAC stands for uh, Role Based Access Control. Uh, so what it means is you can when you create an agent, you can create a role and you can specify what kind of authentication authorization is required to access that agent. So you can define that hey, if you have HR uh, agents. You say that only people who are in the HR department can access and finance department uh, folks cannot access uh, the HR agent that you are going to create. This uh, agent can be deployed to uh, you know, Slack uh, is a, like a similar to Teams, Microsoft Teams, Zoom on different uh, platforms. Microsoft Teams also you can deploy. You can create the agent and deploy. Here you can see data allows uh, prevention policies means you can define the DLP that's what stands for data loss prevention policies for your agent so that it will access it will access the information only it is supposed to access it will not go and access uh, the salaries and all those things it, that can be configurable also broadly here you can see Microsoft Android e is a authentication piece means the username password or uh, pos key for uh, to access that agent 
and Azure bot services can be configured. Open AI, Azure AI services, and like we discussed, Dynamics 365 CRM, ERP can also access or integrate or extend these agents. Copilot Studio, what are the key terms? Agent, as we know, this is a custom uh, build uh, using the Copilot Studio. Knowledge sources, every agent can have one or more knowledge sources. It can be coming from your SharePoint or Dataverse is a data store for the Power Platform, like a database and custom documents. You can uh, further a specific agent. If you don't have the SharePoint, you can upload the documents. I will show you in the demo. You will get a clear idea. And topics are the logical building blocks. Actions are custom workflows. Triggers are the events that uh, are user inputs. Entities are nothing but the tables. You can give the table information to the uh, agent. Say that, hey, uh, this uh, uh, agent need to go and look at that information. When you ask a question, hey, let's take the example, right? Employee table information, if you give to your HR agent, and you can, uh, instead of going to database and querying it, you can ask your uh, agent quickly, how many employees are there? How many employees are uh, you know uh, going to retire in next year or uh, how many employees we recruited this year that kind of questions like uh, you can use the prompt to ask the questions and you will get their response and security as we discussed agent uh, is secure highly secured and uh, based on the configuration that you provide microsoft put the guardrails so that whatever the security definition that you provide to the agent agent will access only that information and publish and apply once you create the agent and you secure the agent you can publish to your teams or websites or embed in any applications let's quickly look at the uh, demo before we go for the uh, you know questions and answers here i am in copilot studio dot uh, preview dot microsoft dot com you can go to copilot studio dot microsoft dot com here on the left hand side, we are in the home. There is a create button. From this button, you can create the different agents. Microsoft uh, yeah, inherently, you know, by default provide these agents, you know, whether agents we can try. Here you can see what are the different agents. Hey, already I created this agent for other purposes, but Microsoft uh, allows us to use this uh, pre-built agents. In the library section, you can see different connectors means you can connect to you know, Salesforce, Dropbox, uh, SurveyMonkey. You know, there are a lot of uh, pre-built uh, connectors that are available uh, for this uh, uh, agent to connect in the Copilot Studio. Let's go ahead and quickly create an uh, agent. Let's, uh, I want to create a simple weather agent. This may take a few minutes. Oh man, it's fast. I thought it was going to take time. Weather demo. Call it agent, and right now uh, here is the description. We just uh, leave like that, and the instructions. We can put some instructions here that connect your data. So this agent right now, oh, it's not connected to MSN weather. Let's connect to the MSN weather. It may take few um, seconds or uh, minutes. Let's see how much time it takes. Oh, it's fast. It's connected to MSN weather. Just confirm. Once we confirm here, we can see it's connected. So we are going to create a weather demo agent. Just I click. Great. This may take a few seconds or minutes. Let's see how Microsoft is able to. Wow, man, it's fast. Previously, it used to take at least you know uh, 45 uh, to you know one and a half uh, minutes. Now it's pretty fast. Here you can see weather demo agent and the description is loading and uh, here you can test it for now i am closing this one for our weather demo agents here uh, on the top uh, there are different tabs overview tab knowledge tab topics tab actions activities analytics and channels means once you create this uh, we created this agent right we can uh, deploy or publish to teams also directly Let's go back. Looks like our agent is ready. Whatever the information uh, you know we gave, or we didn't change much, uh, especially the description and the instructions. But it is connected to the actions. 
So our agent is ready. Let's go to home and one more time check. Yes, here whether demo agent is ready. Let's type agent. Last published, we didn't publish that one, right? Yeah. Let's get into this. Whether demo agent. And let's test it. The way you test it is here uh, before publishing. It's always recommended to test it. So now what am I going to ask? I'm going to ask what is the weather in Detroit, Michigan today. I will be more specific. Get forecast for tomorrow or to clarify. Yeah, that's good. It is double checking. I'm asking uh, uh, our agent is double checking. Uh, that's good. Uh, so it is going to give us a, a prompt response. We said we, are, we want the forecast for today. The forecast for today in Detroit is high 43s. Huh? How was the, let's look at future, right? How is the average temperature, temperature next week? Just uh, you know, uh, today it is uh, showing around the 43 foreign heat, and it's asking you know get the current weather forecast today for tomorrow. Let's say for tomorrow. But which city do you want? So everything is, uh, you know, we need to double check and now let's say Florida, right? We say Orlando, Florida. Let's see, we are asking uh, temperature in Florida. Oh man, look at this, it's a 64 foreign heat. So uh, just to quickly wrap it up, we are able to successfully create this uh, uh, weather demo agent and able to chart with the agent. Looks like the demo is good to go. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave in the video. Thanks for tuning in. Looking forward to see you in my next video. Bye for now.